You wanna see something cool? Okay, see if I care. Hey guys, I'm too small, and I used to be top 1 Vex for a long time. As you can see, this champion is really broken and can make your grind journey much easier if you know how to play it correctly. And that's precisely what I'm gonna tell you in this video. I'll show you how to play the laning phase and what you should do in team fights. Also, I will walk you through my thought process during the gameplay to show you how challengers make their decisions and why they made them. But before all that, let me show you the best Vex build and runes for the current patch, 4.3b. For runes, the keystone is electrocute obviously, and for primary and secondary trees, you can swap between precision and domination, both are really good, but I like to use precision more these days although there's not a big difference between the two, so feel free to choose what suits you the best. And for the build, always buy AP Mana Boot first, and then you can go for any magic ability haste item. Most people still go for Liden's Echo, yet, I don't see its value after buying the Mana Boot, so I usually buy Rift Maker instead, unless I'm against AP and Crowd Control Champions, in this scenario, I go for Banshee's Veil. So after whatever ability haste item you bought, you should buy Death Cap and Infinity Orb, and don't forget to upgrade the boot to Stasis. And the last two items depend on the game. Alright now, let's start the gameplay. By the way, this game was just after the season reset, so that's why we all low rank. Anyway, my rune choice for this game was Domination Tree as my primary rune, and there's not a particular reason, other than just trying it out because it just got released. As I said, after a lot of experimenting, both Precision and Domination are really good, but I prefer Precision as the primary rune more these days. And yes, I picked Vex in the top lane, and it's broken against mobility champions like Vayne, Yasuo, Fiora, and Riven, these champions cannot play the game against Vex because of her passive. Of course, you must know what you are doing to accomplish that. That said, never pick it against tanky champions. So, no matter what lane or champion you are playing, you should always start with Control Ward to give yourself vision and remove your opponent ward at the same time. This way, your jungler, if he wants, can easily gank your opponent. When playing against Yasuo, you always want to remove his shield before hitting him with any abilities, since his shield can block a lot of damage. You can do that by auto-attacking him when the bar below his health is white, that's how you know his shield is ready. A trick I use to hit my abilities easier during the laning phase is just auto-cast it but only when he attacks the minion, so he won't be able to move in time because of the auto-attack animation or whatever ability he used to farm. As you can see, whenever I get the opportunity, I harass Yasuo with auto-attacks, but I'm also spacing myself away from his auto-attack range. If you got hit with his Q, that's fine, but he shouldn't be able to auto-attack you, that's when you will lose. He was getting level 2 faster than me since he was focusing on killing the minions, and I was focusing on him instead of the minions. So I usually would have backed away so he wouldn't all in on me, but that's fine since I took some EXP from the war, so I got level 2 just in time. Still, I needed to be faster to unlock my W and shield myself to survive. Anyway, that's still fine, I got the first blood, and the wave is actually pushing towards me, so I'm not losing farm, unlike Yasuo. In this game, I was still using the old Bladen's Echo build, and since I didn't have enough gold to buy the AP boot, it was better to buy Lost Chapter. Since my farm still hadn't reached my tower, I had time to try to help Zed, but yeah, Yasuo wouldn't let him escape. Although that's good for me because he used his flash. Notice how I auto-attack Yasuo to remove his shield before hitting him with any abilities, but I have to drop the minion aggro fast because that's a huge wave to tank at level 3. Now, he made a mistake by playing aggressively with no shield or even a tornado, and he used his wind wall too early, so I had the opportunity to all in on him. And I was able to fear him towards my turret, so this was a relatively easy kill to obtain. Now it's finally time to farm this juicy wave and push the next one, and recall. As you see, Vex Sphere can annoy your opponents and save you from many situations. Now, I have enough gold to buy the AP boot, that's better than buying another Liden's Echo component. Personally, I like to throw the ultimate into Yasuo's face even though he has Wind Wall, which means he can block it if he reacts in time, but that's fine, because if he doesn't, that's another kill for me. After dashing to the target, you should wait for him to use anything that can dodge or block your combo as I did here, so things like Stasis or Zed Ultimate, or in this case, Yasuo's Wind Wall. Here, I use the Q Flash combo to dodge his tornado and secure the kill. 
these are the most important combos you need to know about. Flash Combos You can flash combo with Q or Ultimate. This combo is very useful if you want to change the direction of the skill or extend its range. To do this combo, cast the first ability and immediately flash. This technique can also be used with the ultimate. Now, I should push the wave and take a plate or two before Yasuo returns. Now I'm too fed, so I can be more aggressive and not worry about if I'm in Yasuo's auto attack range. And again, I removed Yasuo's shield by auto attack before hitting him with any abilities. Once Yasuo engages, I fear him with W cause it's the fastest method, and he can't block it with the wind wall. Since I could fear him before he put his wall up, I continued the combo with EQ, ultimate Q. Again, if I hadn't been fed, I would never have stayed that close, also if I didn't have my fear ready, I would have played safer until it did. I really can't emphasize this enough, if you do not have the fear ready, never, never stay close unless you can one-shot your opponent, and he can't dodge your abilities if he wasn't CC'd, and of course, most of the time that's not the case. Here, I got too greedy for more plates, even though I haven't seen Ramus for quite a while. Still, I thought whatever, more kills for a tank champion wouldn't make much of a difference. Little did I know, later, that Ramus actually was the only reason that kept us from easily winning this game, you'll see how in a bit. Anyway, I have completed my Ladin's Echo, so I have two items before the objective, that's really good. Since I'm the only one who's fed in my team, I have to help them win the team fight, and that's the whole reason I picked Vex anyway, not to 1v1 but carry team fights too, so I'll hover mid while staying out of vision and wait for the enemy team to start an objective, or find a good engage angle. And here's the perfect angle to engage, fearing four enemies, while hitting a full combo on two of them. Unfortunately, I got exhausted. Do you see now how broken Vex is? And I was able to snipe Ramus with another Q flash combo. So now we can take the Drake, and Zed already took the Rift. So we were able to not only win, but dominate 4v5 fight, all because of Vex's broken kit, and there's no actual counter for it. Now, I take the honey fruit just in case Ramus wants a round 2. And after we secure the drake, I return to my lane. Now, I see Zed wants to rift my lane. But honestly, rifting mid in this game would be better because I can kill Yasuo alone and take the turret. So I was trying to bait Yasuo's wind wall, and I did. However, Zen engaged in the worst possible time because Yasuo had his tornado, and the wind wall was still blocking me. Fortunately, the wind wall didn't last long, so it turned out okay. So before engaging on Yasuo, ensure he doesn't have his tornado ready and can't block your abilities with his wall, otherwise, he can turn it around. Since we spot Ramaspot's side, we can take his jungle in another turret. Now. Zed and I see Ezreal was overextending, so we look for one more kill before resetting. Unfortunately, I missed my ultimate. I had a feeling before I threw it that it would happen, and I could have just walked up to Ezreal as I did in the end. So that was a bit of a misplay, but Fizz was able to follow, and Ezreal still died anyway, and I miraculously escaped from Yasuo, thanks to Vex passive. Actually, we were able to kill Yasuo somehow. You might have noticed I had two fears, that's because of Vex passive, which marks enemies who dash or blink, or are hit with the third ability, so consuming each mark reduces the fear cooldown by 25%, and I was able to consume three marks, which was just enough for the fear to be ready by the time my first ability was. So, since nothing was left for me in the top lane, I went to bot lane to try to take the turret. Yasuo was trying his hardest to get revenge, but I survived on 1 HP once again, although, it was a good try. By the way, I knew Ramus 100% would be coming, but I didn't care again, that's the second shutdown I gave him, so it's fair to say he became a problem later on, because of me. Uh, 
I was coming to mid to clear the wave so they wouldn't take the turret, but since Jin was right behind me, he could do that, so I returned to my lane in case Yasuo continued pushing and tried to take the turret. But he didn't, so as soon I made sure of that, I pushed the wave and went mid to look for a fight, to further extend our lead. While I'm on my way, I put one ward here, and you want to put it right in the middle of the bush to have the best vision of this side of the enemy jungle. Also, if Baron was our next objective, I would have put the second ward in the bush next to the red buff, but since our objective was the drake, I saved it to ward the enemy blue side. Now it's time for some action. And, of course, I missed. So I've played this the worst possible way. Or actually, it could have been worse. Anyway, my team helped me fast enough, so it was all good. Here I was trying to bait Ezreal to eat into Kumi, and I could tank it using my W, but my brain lagged, and I didn't react in time. At least my plan worked, kind of. Now, I started trolling, here's why. I missed my ultimate once again, and I shouldn't even engage with it, instead. I should have waited for the enemy team to engage because there was no way I would have escaped from Ramus, so it's a good thing I missed it. But then I wasted my fear trying to stop Ramus from engaging on my team. This isn't the issue, my mistake is that I still wanted to fight it. Like I said before, as long you don't have the fear ready, never stay close, and I didn't do that here, and without flash, there is no escaping from this lousy position. So, to be clear about what I should have done. I should have walked in from the other side with my team and waited for the enemy team to engage. We kill Ramus first okay. and then the rest, and if someone escaped, I would have still had my ultimate to pick them off. Since Baron was up, I needed to be close in case the enemy wanted to take it or if we wanted to fight for it, so till that happens, I'll be farming in Baron lane. But then I spotted these two carries way overextending by themselves, so it was time to look for an engage. Unfortunately, they dodged my ultimate, but Ezreal thought he could fight me, of course, it didn't end well for him, and we were able to kill Nilla and Ramus too. We should have taken Baron at this moment, but we didn't have enough health to tank its damage. Now I helped Jin push the mid-wave because he shouldn't do that alone since Ramus can jump on him quickly and kill him very easily. So now there is nothing to do, but instead of just sitting still, I go farm Ramus red side jungle, and if I see Nilla continued pushing, I'll rotate to her and kill her. Unfortunately, while I was going, Ramus engaged on my team, and honestly, I should have seen this coming to stop him, but now it's too late for that, so I still go for Nilla. Since Nilla can dash, I couldn't hit her with any ability except the second ability to fear her, so she wouldn't be able to dodge my combo, also, I have flash if I needed to flash W her. See how I hit her with the ultimate, but wait for my first ability to be ready to re-engage on her. Now, I was thinking of going to help my team, but I figured it would be all over by the time I arrived to them, so it was better to just farm more waves and recall to spend my gold. Now I have finished my core items, so I was considering buying Rift Maker or Soul Stealer. I ended up buying Soul Stealer, which was the biggest mistake I made in this gameplay because I needed magic penetration and true damage to kill this Ramus. But I failed to realize how big of an issue Ramus was, so I thought I should buy Soul Stealer to reduce the ultimate cooldown so I could team fight more. Of course, when I realized no one can kill Ramus, I sold it. In case you are still wondering which item I should get if you were in a similar situation. Instead of Soul Stealer, you should buy Void Staff to get Magic Penetration and then Rift Maker to have true damage, which ignores all magic resist stats. After these two items, Ramus will be useless. Here, I knew I couldn't kill Ramus, but my goal was to kill Lux, I also wanted to save Fizz, so that's why I ulted Ramus and then waited for Lux to get closer to kill her. And since we were able to also kill Ramus, we could have taken Baron, that's why I didn't recall. Unfortunately, Ezreal jumped on me from nowhere, ruining our plan. See now, after I looked at Ramus and Yasuo's build, I didn't finish the Soul Stealer and prioritized Void Staff instead. Also, I didn't buy the Blasting Wand and purchased the Amplifying Tome because I needed the Magic Penetration component, Void Amethyst, as fast as possible. Since I have Infinity Orb, 
I can try to steal this drake, and I also have flash to get out this time. Sadly, I didn't see Lux Q, so I got caught, but it's still worth it. Watch what I did to Ezreal here. I only needed two abilities to kill him, and he just couldn't do anything about it. It doesn't feel nice. Anyway, now I need to check the Baron, in case they are taking it. Again, see how I only use one ward on the enemy red side to have more information, which leads to better decisions. Now I just stay out of vision and close to Baron till the Elders spawn. See how I avoid vision by walking away from the upcoming wave? It's essential to be as stealthy as possible when playing Vex, especially in the late game, to force enemies to face check you, and then you can one-shot them as I was trying to do to Yasuo. Jin was able to finish him, and we had already killed Lux. Also, Mila just jumped in front of me, and I sniped Ezreal, so thankfully, Ramus couldn't do anything to help his team because they were positioned very bad. Now, Jin and I can push and zone Ramus while the rest of the team takes the Elder. I knew Ramus would be coming to fight me when I recall here, but now I have Elder and some magic resist this time, so it should be fine, right? Nope, he is still able to kill me very easily somehow. Making things worse, Zed went AFK, so this game is far from over. Write down in the comments now, whether you think we can still win this game or not. Also, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you find it helpful. It really helps us, thank you. Thankfully, with the help of the Elder buff, my team was able to win 3v5 fight, although they still got the Baron. But we have Pryo in all lanes, so this should buy us a lot of time to regroup. This time, he tried to survive by exhausting me, but I'm almost full build now, so it wouldn't make much of a difference. Man, ADC's lives are hard. Now, we should push all lanes so that the Baron buff will finish by the time they push toward us. Ramus made a very good engage, I had to flash before he taunted me, but my team wasn't so lucky. If I got caught by Ramus, that would be game over. See how I can kill Yasuo without any abilities, thanks to Vex passive. He would have lived if he had just walked away without dashing, but many people don't know about this passive, so they dash to their deaths. I forgot Ramus had Warmog's armor, so he was able to heal up and return for round 2. God, this Ramus okay. is so annoying. I finally sold the Soul Stealer and realized I should have bought Riftmaker, now I'm ready to fight this Ramus. Although all of my team just died right before Baron and Elder spawned, but I wasn't ready to lose this game after all of this. Based on the seconds of vision on Lux and Ramus, I made a guess that Yasuo and Ramus are on Baron, and Lux on Elder with Nilla. So I decided to go to Baron first and try to stop them, since it's much easier to hit a blind ultimate on melee champions attacking Baron. Also, unlike Baron buff, they don't get the Elder buff if they die. And yes, I did it! Now I'll run to the Elder, maybe I'll be lucky and hit another blind ultimate. Unfortunately, I wasn't so lucky this time, but I see Lux alone, so I try to kill her to remove her Elder buff. Yeah, it didn't go as planned, but the important thing is I survived, and we also killed Nilla, so only Ezreal has the Elder buff now. Now Ramus is being greedy. Although, we can't really benefit from this kill. Seriously, I almost got one-shotted by this Ezreal ultimate. We can't really take Baron because no one can tank its damage, but they thought we would, so Lux got too close, and we were able to kill her. Oh, 
I recalled to get Pryo in bot lane. Still, I was afraid if I showed up in bot, they would take Baron, but then I saw Ezreal bot and Nilla should be just recalled, which means Ramus and Yasuo alone can't take it in time. So I tried to kill Ezreal, but he buffered the fear really well. Now I rushed towards mid cause I felt something terrible would happen, and I didn't need to farm the bot wave since I'm full build. Also, we have super minions, so we have auto prio. And yeah, by the time I arrived, they were already engaged on Jin, but we trade it very well. IQ flashed to try to get Ramus, but he also flashes. Now, the only thing I can do is to take the mid in it. It's crucial to take the scuttle before the objective, its vision is really beneficial and can't be removed, unlike the regular ward. Ah, man, this Ramus. I don't have my fear ready. I try to buy time with stasis. Come on, not the Lux ultimate. I fear him. I run. I slow him. Come on, one second for the W. Oh man, that was close. I really shouldn't die before Elder. Now we group mid, hopefully, for one last fight. Yasuo tries to kill Jin, but he missed up. We got too excited, it's 4v3 now, since Ezreal is top. Fizz misses his ultimate and gets exhausted. I waste my fear. Wait, Ezreal has TP. Yeah, we're doomed. This gives vision to Jin. Can Jin steal it? Oh man, this isn't good. Can he at least escape? Come on, dodge it. Nice. And he has flash. Good. Now that Zed has returned, we get a chance to stop them from Baron because Elder plus Baron is just game over. Unfortunately, Yasuo learned his lesson from last time and used the wind wall this time, but we still had to try. I lock on Ezreal and flash full combo in, and Zed takes down Lux. I ran away, waiting for my abilities. Jin snipes Yasuo. I use stasis to dodge Ramus CC. Now, he is an easy kill. Finally, I casually walked up to Nilla and one-shot at her. And yes, we did it. We killed them all. Although we didn't get the Baron, but it doesn't matter. Now I'm confident, Jin and I can end this, so I stayed close to him, kind of using him as bait. Yasuo engages on Jin, but Jin avoids him. I fear Ezreal, and one-shot him. Now, Yasuo is an easy kill without his wind wall. I hit the vision plant to see if anyone else was coming, and there it was, Nilla, so I sniped and one-shot at her. Finally, we did it! Now, we can push and end this game. This is probably the second longest game I've ever played. I enjoyed it, but I don't want it to happen again. If you enjoyed the gameplay or found it helpful, please like and subscribe, it really helps us to make more videos like this. Also, you should check out this gameplay guide, which will help you make better rotations. Or our in-depth vex guide to know every little thing about her. Thanks for watching, see you at the next one. Okay, see if I care.